punching somebody in the head? This is my laptop. You think this is... The man has got a point, but he's suffering a bit from professional bias. So obviously no physician would recommend you do almost every sport. They want you to do sport, right? They want you to stay active and train your body. But of course, don't get punched. It might be bad for your brain. Don't use heavy weight because they might use to an, uh, lead to an injury. You know, don't ride a bike because you might fall down. Stuff like that. It's professional bias. So those people have overwhelmingly to do with people when it went wrong. And, and you know, I, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't follow their advice too strictly. I would reach up on their advice to train more safely. We are improving training safely, safety in the last couple of years heavily. It's one of the reasons, though, to protect the brain why I prefer grappling over striking, because I think I'd rather limp than stutter. I think it's okay when I'm 70 years old and I'm having a limp and using a stick and I'll probably wear some, you know, like pimp style stuff and a feather hat and it's gonna be awesome. But I don't think it has the same style when you stutter, no offense to people who stutter. And, you know, so I want to protect the last couple brain cells that I still have after being a teenager. So when training, we use fairly light punches and if somebody's hit hard, it stops sparring for the day. And there's a lot of safety measures that you can and should take. Even if I'm thinking just from an athlete's perspective, avoiding injury is of utmost importance. And I want to keep my fighters healthy and strong for a long time. And I want to keep them as trainers and teachers afterwards. So he's got a point. But would you take that point and, you know, not use your laptop as intended? There's a high risk if you carry it anywhere. Anytime you sit down, there's a bit of a rattle. I'm still gonna do that. You know, it, it doesn't need to be in peak perfect shape when I throw it in the trash in a couple years. And I think about the same for my body. I want to lift maybe 120 or 150 and it's okay if I'm gonna die then. And it's also okay if I put strain on my body as much as I can heal up again and stay healthy. Find the balance between not doing enough and doing too much. Find the correct use of your body.